be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. When you do that, you help my channel grow. Miss Jessica's Book Nook. Hi, I'm Miss Jessica and welcome to my book nook. In today's book, we get to meet Tree. Tree goes on an adventure and on that adventure, he discovers friendship and love. And then we get to meet the author of the book, so stay tuned. Okay, let's read a book. The Big Adventures of a Little Tree, Tree Finds Friendship, written by Nadia Springer and illustrated by Tilia Rand Bell. Down by the shore where the sea turtles are, there lives a small tree, the greenest by far. He spent his whole life with his sisters and brothers, but yearns to go wander and meet many others. He tries hard to leave, but his roots are so deep. He can't even walk, and he surely can't leap. Tree comes up with a plan and calls out to the wind. I'm about to go places I've never been. By pooling his branches, birds help him to walk. It works! Tree is moving! They excitedly squawk. The animals watch as Tree waves to the crowd. I'm seeking adventure, he cries, feeling proud. Tree reaches a meadow and sees children at play. He asks to join in, but they all run away. That is all except one who steps forward to talk. How did you get here? I know trees can't walk. Tree tells her that birds simply tugged and then lifted till his roots and his branches all finally shifted. The girl is surprised, yelling, guys, come and see. It's hard to believe my new friend is a tree. The children all giggle, the birds flutter by. He's made lots of friends in a blink of an eye. Now Tree and the children love playing all day. Running free in the meadow till Tree heard one child say, Oh, winter is coming. We must say goodbye. How will Tree get home? There's a tear in his eye. I'm sorry, my friends. There's no time left to roam. With winter arriving, I need help getting home. The children love Tree. They all give him a hug. We will take you back there. We can pull, we can tug. They gather their bikes and they pull Tree along. Their love and their friendship are making them strong. Tree's brothers and sisters are happy to see all the children and learn how they took care of Tree. As Tree hugs goodbye, there's no need to feel grim. When summer returns, please come back for a swim. I will always remember the friends I hold dear. They will stay in my heart year after year. Down by the shore where the sea turtles are, there lives a tree with a smile you can see from afar. The End We just finished reading the Big Adventures of a Little Tree, Tree Finds Friendship. And the author is here with us today. Everyone, this is Miss Nadia Springer. I'm so excited to be with you today and to meet you. I am so excited to meet you too. Now, this is the first book in your series of The Big Adventures of a Little Tree, right? Yes, right. What was your inspiration behind creating this book and creating your series? 
Well, you know, Tree's adventures are inspired by my children, basically. We moved to the US in 2018 and my girls were really scared and worried and felt lonely. They didn't speak any English and they were so good in making friends quickly and learning the language. And then 2020 happened, right? The pandemic hit. And so I was trying to find a way to comfort and encourage them. And this is how Tree was born. Wow, that's so great. And I tell you a secret, all three of them are pictured in the book. Really? So you will see the little girl on the cover. That is my middle daughter, Greta. We have a baby in the book, which is Olivia. And then we have a, a girl around the age of eight and she's wearing a blue dress and this is Philia. Now, what do you hope that your audience will learn from your book? Well, you know, I just, I just want us all to remember that one act of kindness, a simple thing like including somebody um, can be a total game changer. So this is the first book in your series. What other books in your series are there? Well, you know, Tree has a new adventure and this will be published this fall. His friends are coming down to the shore and visit him and his family. And I've just released a friendship journal, a keepsake book where you can cherish and remember your childhood friends. Miss Nadia, thank you so much for making these books and for being here and part of my world. Thank you. It has been so great chatting with you and um, I hope you have a great day and remember to hug a tree. Ah. <laughs> Everyone, this is Miss Nadia Springer and I'm Miss Jessica and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.